Ashto T19. It's a unit weight of coarse aggregate. Uh, we're going to be using the measure. The measure that we use is per the table in the procedure, and that's based on the size of the aggregate that we're going to be testing. It has to be calibrated at least once a year. When we calibrate it, what we're doing is getting the volume of the measure. The amount of material that we need before we start is approximately 125 to 200 percent of the amount required to fill the measure that we're using. There's three methods of compacting your material in your measure. The first one is rotting, and that's used for maximum nominal aggregate size of an inch and a half or less. And then there's jigging, that's plus inch and a half material up to five inches. And then finally, there's shoveling. Shoveling is only used when specified. So when you do the rotting, you do it in three equal lifts, 25 rods per lift. On the first lift, make sure you don't strike the bottom forcibly. On the second and third lift, you want to penetrate the lift that you're uh, compacting, but you don't want to penetrate into the previous lift. Jigging, you're going to lift it up approximately two inches. On one side, let it fall with a hard slapping blow. Alternate to the other side, two inches. Let it hit, hit with a hard slapping blow. You do that for 25 times on each side for a total of 50. Again, you have to alternate between sides. Shoveling, it's one continuous lift. As you discharge your material using either your shovel or your scoop, make sure you're no more than two inches away from the top rim of your measure as you discharge. And you want to make sure as much as possible to avoid segregation. So it's best to work around the measure as you discharge. I'll demonstrate all three, but I'm not going to do the entire procedure for all three. I'll use the first lift, I'll do the rotting. Second lift, I'll do the jigging, and I'll finish off with the third lift of shoveling. So the first lift, and be rotting. I fill it one third full. Level it off with your fingers. Grab your rod. Rod it 25 times. Again, on the second and third lift, make sure you don't penetrate into the previous lift. You can mark the previous lift before you start there, and that tells you how far you can uh, ride your sample. Now I'm going to show the jigging. Now the jigging is for plus inch and a half material up to five inch, so it's going to be a larger uh, measure. Uh, the smaller measure, it's hard to get a hard slapping blow, but I'll do the best I can. And it wouldn't be done in a pan like this. It'd be done on the hard floor. Again, it's done in three lifts also. <clears throat> Level it off. Compact it by grabbing Tipping one side up approximately two inches, let it hit with a hard slapping blow, alternate to the other side, let it hit with a hard slapping blow. Do that 25 times on each side for a total of 50 times. Finally, the shoveling. Again, it's only used when specified. Make sure when you discharge it that you don't discharge it any more than two inches from the top rim of the measure and try to avoid segregation as you're doing this. You fill it to overflowing, and then you're going to level it. When you level it, consider it level, what you're looking for, is for any 
projections above the rim, they will balance out the voids below the top of the rim. So when you do your final leveling, you can use your hand or you can use a straight edge to do it. When you do your final leveling, you're going to have to do it at eye level so that you can see projections above the top of the rim. Make sure they balance out with the voids that are below the top of the rim. Once you have it level, you're going to weigh it to the nearest point one pound. Of course, you have to have the empty weight of the measure also to the nearest point one pound. That's the procedure. Please be sure to read all of the materials available in your Soils and Aggregate Technician Certification Workbook.